If you're not on good terms with your ex-spouse and you can't just say, hey, you know, how much is your Social Security going to be worth at your full retirement age? If you can't have that conversation, you want to know that number still and you can find it out from the Social Security Administration. So you have to get an appointment with the Social Security, go walk into your local office, but they're not going to talk to you until you prove that you were married. You need a copy of your marriage license. It has to be an original or a certified copy. You can't just have like a Xerox copy. And you have to have a copy of your divorce decree. So if you don't have those two documents, it can take you a little while to get them. Start, spend some time to go get them. It might take you a couple months so that when the time comes, you can give that to the Social Security Administration and they will tell you. Because if you're getting ready for retirement and you're trying to figure out, do I have enough money to retire? You need to know if you can draw off your own or if half of your spouse, your ex-spouse's is more than all of yours, in which case you won't draw yours at all. You can only draw one benefit. So you'll draw your spousal benefit off your ex-spouse. To be able to draw off your ex-spouse, that marriage had to have lasted 10 full years. So people always ask me, is it the date that I filed? The date we got separated? It's the date the judge signed your decree. So go look at the paperwork. If you don't have it, call your divorce attorney. If you don't know who your divorce attorney was, it's been so long ago, go to that courthouse. They will have the public records and you can access it. It might cost you five bucks to get a copy. That's the date you need to know. And unfortunately, I've had people say I was married nine years, 11 months, and two days. No, it has to be 10 full years, full years, consecutive, to draw off that ex-spouse. Then you have to currently be single. So after that marriage, so that marriage lasted 10 years and it was from 17 to 27, long, long, long time ago. And in the meantime, I maybe got married two more times and got divorced. And now I am single. I could potentially draw off any of those marriages that lasted 10 years. I might have two or three marriages that lasted 10 years. Again, I, I haven't talked to these guys in years. I don't even know if they're alive. Social Security has that information. They will only tell you if you provide the marriage certificates and divorce decrees for all three marriages, then they will tell you which one would pay you the most. That is the one you can draw off of. Even if other people are drawing off of that guy, even if that guy is currently remarried, as long as I am single, I am eligible to draw up to 50% of his amount. Now I have these amounts on my social security cheat sheet that you can download off our website. Go to the medicarefamily.com, go download it. It's a program, it'll automatically go to your email right now. If you don't see it in your email right now, check your spam. But it will tell you how much you could draw as an ex-spouse if I draw at 62, which is 30%. And you're like, but I thought you just said I could draw 50%. I did. I said you could draw up to 50% as an ex-spouse, but that would mean I'd have to be at my full retirement age. If I want to draw earlier, I can draw less. It's going to be a permanently locked in reduced amount. And at 62, the earliest I could draw would be 30%. So if you want to know how much I could draw at 63, 64, 65, all the way up to my full retirement age, like I said, go get my social security cheat sheet because I don't have all those percentages memorized. The main thing is when you lock that amount in, that is amount you'll get level for the rest of your life. It won't if you draw it at 62 and it's a 30% reduction, you're not going to suddenly be getting 50% when you reach your full retirement age. You already agreed to this reduction and this is how much you'll get level for the rest of your life. Now, if your ex-spouse passes away, Social Security will automatically move you to a widow benefit, which should be about double what you're getting. And like I said, that should happen automatically, sometimes with 65 million people in the program the levers don't all get changed. So if you, if your ex-spouse does die and you are aware of it, make sure that you are moved up to that widow benefit if it didn't automatically happen. Again, get the cheat sheet. That's going to be your answer to see if you want to draw at 62, three, four, five, it goes up in increments. And keep in mind, if you do take social security off your ex-spouse, he has no say in it. He can't prevent you from doing it. He doesn't have to agree to it. In most cases, and I can say he or she, it's gender neutral, most cases, your ex-spouse will never know. They're not notified. They're not called. They're not emailed. They're not sent a letter saying, hey, your ex-spouse is drawing off you. Because I know people are afraid to draw because they don't want to rattle that cage. They, If your ex-spouse calls Social Security and asks them, they will tell them. 
but they're not going to proactively call and say, hey, guess what? Your ex-spouse is drawing off you. So I know a lot of women are afraid to draw off their ex-spouse because they're afraid of that at minimum animosity and at worst violence. They're not going to be proactively notified. It won't hurt if it won't hurt your ex-spouse. It doesn't take money out of his pocket. It doesn't reduce his own social security. It does not hurt if your spouse has a new wife. It does not hurt her either. So I'm eligible to get up to 50%. That's in my control. Meaning whenever I choose to draw, if I choose earlier, I get less. If I choose later, I get more. And if you do choose earlier, make sure you consult on my cheat sheet so you know what your earnings cap is so you don't have your social security lowered because you earn too much money and you drew before your full retirement age. So stay with me, watch my videos. I have one every week. If you hit the subscribe button, you won't miss it because if you keep watching, all of these retirement pieces start to fit together and you start to get ready for retirement. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.